All right, hey Capricorn. So I'm doing a love read for you guys and this is gonna be for those that are not in union. So separation, it doesn't mean, or it doesn't have to mean that this um, cannot be new love. It just means that you uh, and this person have not fully come in together yet. Um, so confirmation for some. You're gonna know this is your read by the uh, intro. So your energy, how you feel about them, the recent past. If that doesn't resonate, please check your other placements, you guys. Those went out yesterday. And if you're new, welcome. I do hope you guys will subscribe if you like my energy. So let's just see what's coming through with your energy and your situation. What's currently happening with you. We have the Knight of Pentacles coming through. The Knight of Pentacles is all about um, taking it very, very slow. All right. This is putting in the work to have um, to reap the, re the rewards pretty much. Okay. Um, currently, the Knight of Pentacles is also a card of um, conservatism. Sometimes you could be feeling bored, a little bit stuck, um, and even being a perfectionist when it comes to your current state of affairs, when it comes to your life. It could be just how you feel like you need to present yourself when it comes to the person on your mind. But you know what? You don't have to be perfect, okay? With the Nine of Cups, your energy is really high right now. So this is all about wishes being granted and fulfilled. So you're really, really happy. You're excited about life. You're excited about the person on your mind. Um, I don't feel there's any negative thinking coming through here. All right. And with justice, I, I'm, I'm trying to say karma with justice card coming through. Um, this is an indication that everything is going your way. All right. Justice is karma, balance, it's rewards, success. So um, I just feel like your energy, like whatever you want to happen, and I'm going to tell you this Capricorn, you know, without a doubt, it's going to happen and be in your favor. Justice card um, to me tells me that your energy is high and you are manifesting. You're, you're, you're putting out there, you're getting the return on investment. Okay. And I feel like that has to do more with being in alignment with the universe opposed to this person. Okay. Um, you know, the universe is seeing that you're, you're putting that work in yourself. You're desiring what it is you want and you're putting yourself in alignment to be in receipt of that. And the gifts are just going to keep coming. And you know that with without a doubt. Okay. So let's see how you feel about this person coming through. How do you feel about this person? Ace of Pentacles, the Queen of Swords and the Empress. All right. So here is what I'm going to say. Um, with the Queen of Swords energy coming through in reverse, it could just be that this person maybe feels Oh, or has maybe projected a little unfocused or impulsive energy. Okay. Um, this too is um, possibly, um, you know, feeling the outsider's influences. Okay. And you could probably sense that. So um, basically with the Queen of Swords in reverse, um, this person's been through a lot and you can see that this person's probably had relationships in the past that have um, put them on a bitter end. However, with the Empress card coming through, you know that they're working to... Uh, through um, any of those past behaviors. All right. For separation, it could be that you guys have actually had a situation in the past because that queen of swords indicates a divorced um, and sometimes bitter energy. Um, and that could have been what you've seen in the past, but they're, they're truly coming through as this empress in your eyes now. And the empress is going to be love, home, comfort, security, and that soulmate dynamic. So you know that this person's supposed to be in your life for a reason. All right. And I feel that as far as engagement goes with this person, you really want um, a solid stable future you want this ace of pentacles you want commitment with this person and that's where your focus is sitting at so um, screw the past we're moving forward all right um leaving everything as it was okay if this person and you haven't had any situations together in the past it could be that you've seen that this person's been through a lot all right look at that judgment on the bottom of the deck is showing change growth rebuilding and releasing the past so let's see what your past looks like with this person. The past with this person. The Five of Swords. So you guys have had some conflict in the past. Definitely. Okay. You guys, I have to tell you something that is really shitty. <laughs> and it's only ever happened with Capricorn videos. But I got through the whole reading and didn't realize that my video had stopped. Hang on real quick. Um... Yeah, so I'm not reshuffling the cards because the messages that came through were so positive and beautiful and I was just like super bummed out right now. All right, so anyways, your recent past when it comes to this connection. The Five of Swords, um, obviously you guys have had con conflict, um, you know, between one another. Um, mental, physical, verbal, you know, um, 
some emotional wounds for sure with that five of swords energy all right um you got the two of pentacles so kind of playing with each other's emotions and feelings maybe some in and out energy just really not being um aware or sure of one another right and then we had the two of wands um so this is where you guys are coming back together in this most recent past um where your paths may have been different um, and led to different outcomes and, and um, situations. This is like truly coming back through and um, navigating life together. So um, it's like regardless of what you kind of experienced and gone through in the past, um, it, it's come full circle, right? With that two of wands. Okay. Um, so who this person is. All right. We have the five of pentacles. This is um, Taurus. So you could be dealing with a Taurus. We have the Ace of Cups, which is Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. And then we have the Nine of Pentacles, which is rep referenced um, to Virgo. All right. So who this person is, is um, they're very much, they've been single. All right. And they've probably had um, and, and gone through and, and have endured a lot when it comes to rejection, loss, um, fear of rejection, fear of abandonment, loneliness, hopeless, um, you know, kind of energy. Um this person too in the past they could have um when you guys had your interactions together they could have um d kind of did the poor pitiful um old me type of um scenario all right but i really feel like this person has kind of rectified that behavior otherwise you wouldn't be entertaining that right it, it doesn't have to be that this person has that poor pitiful me behavior but what i will say is this person um they, they do have um they have loss, uh, trauma when it comes to loss and abandonment, rejection. And that could be through parental figures just as well as romantic partnerships. All right. But the Nine of Pentacles shows that this person has been single for a while. All right. They are very much single. Um, and when you guys have been together, they probably could have taken advantage of the love that you had to give what, you know, the, the love that you had for them, the love that you wanted to share with them because the Nine of Pentacles um, also references um, having a wish fulfillment. And taking advantage of it when it's right in front of your face okay but this person is coming through um with the dynamic of new loves new beginnings in love um it, you know in partnerships ace of cups is wanting to come through and share that cup of love with you so probably most likely i feel um you know through through the most part uh they have healed a lot of that wounding okay um how they feel about you we have the chariot card coming through with su success, protection, and emotions, the hermit, and we have the 10 of cups. Okay. So what, how this person sees you, how they feel about you is somebody who probably often spends a lot of time alone, focusing on yourself and your healing. They could see you as somebody who's very analytical and thoughtful. All right. Just as well. The hermit card is going to be a depiction of a spiritual journey and path just as well. Um, but they can really see a life. It's almost like this person cannot see a life outside of you. All right. This is coming together, blending families, having children. Um, this is the house, the life. This is building together and growing. And this is giving all every single bit of our emotions to one another and just wanting it to last. It's like retiring together, sitting on the front porch, swinging together and, and truly just moving forward. Um, the fact that the, the, that the chariot card is here um, would depict a protected union. So this person could feel very much that this is something that has been guided together and it is being protected right now. Okay. And then um, what do they want you to know? So we came with the 10 of wands, the knight of cups and the magician okay so this person basically what they're telling you with these cards is i can't i can't i i i'm i'm i it's like i can't shake you like i can't it's almost like i surrender to everything about you the ten of wands is basically saying i can't stand being without you um i you know everything from the past i'm i'm, I'm i want to put it down i want to put it away and i just want to come through and build with you knight of cups energy is coming through saying i want to make love to you and you're, you're one of the most beautiful human beings i've ever seen cross my path all right regardless of the past i'm ready to, to just take you out this is like i want to look at you and i just want to see you for you and um the the nine of cups is such a creative and, and and charming energy this is imagination it's just looking at you through the lens of adoration really i mean the magician card says i um, when i see something i want it and i'm going after it so i'm gonna snag you up all right when i do you're not getting away you know um so let's see where this connection will go from here um and i when i pulled um, 
what they want you to know. I'm sorry, this card came out too with that. The Six of Wands is all about moving forward, wanting to move forward and seeing the bigger picture, seeing success, seeing the victory, um, seeing... Yeah, that was the one. Okay. Seeing the big picture, seeing the win, seeing the victory. Um, it's going to be really important not to rest on the laurels, though. And I feel like that's going to be coming... That's coming into uh, the... the um, the 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 behaviors so in the la the part that got cut off one thing that i expressed to you guys is those of you who are coming back through um under the separation you guys are really going to have to learn how to channel all the negative energy of the past um, and that's going to be done between you and your higher self um forgiving releasing and healing comes between you and god you and your higher self when you when you take that to the person it's done through ego um and and typically um Maybe you guys will not agree with me, but typically it's to make yourself feel better. So just make sure you're truly healing the parts of the dynamic that didn't work between you and your higher self. So that brings me to the next part. So where does this go? Um, this is what I'm going to say. If you guys don't eliminate the past, the negative energy and emotions can have a potential of coming back. The seven of swords is lies, cheating, manipulation, gaslighting. All right. And it's, it's kind of being haunted by those memories of the past, but look at you have judgment card coming through and that spirit saying you guys have all the potential in the world to change, grow, rebuild, and release everything that can be transmuted. All the negative energy of the seven of swords you can transmute that out but it's really going to take work on both of you and this person so really it's like you, you can't bring up the past if if you want to um if you want to make this work all right and um i feel with the hierophant card coming through it's just the establishment of of order rules and it's um really solidifying that spiritual journey that you guys could have that potential that you're going to be on okay this is a very positive card and and for the potential where this can go is straight into a journey that you guys will not ever ever regret okay maybe the past had some regrettable mistakes but now you guys are moving forward um and it's going to be very very harmonizing just release the past okay so the next 30 days what your advice is um again removing all heartbreak okay the moon card coming through with this three of swords um the way i spoke it um previously was um take advantage of the full moon coming um november 19th and 20th um because that's also i feel i think it's being backed by um um oh shit what did i say um oh my god i can't think of the word it's coming with something else And I can't think of it. All right. But anyways, it's going to be a very powerful moon to release. So start writing letters. And it doesn't have to be long pages or anything. But for the people who really stand out in your heart space that you know have hurt you, it's time to release that. And one of the things I suggested was writing letters to the individuals, parental figures, family, um, ex-romantic partners, and even this person writing letters and folding it up with a bay leaf and burning it and giving that giving those ashes back to the universe. All right. I no longer hold on to this shit. Forgive them for hurting you and forgive yourself for holding on to that and burn it all with that new, that moon. I just feel like that's, a, a, it's going to be very powerful um, regardless. Okay. So take advantage of the full moon. Cause that's all about releasing the past. All right. And then you guys have um, this king of wands, which I feel is, is putting you back in this position of power where you need to be at feeling good, feeling motivated, coming back into your true um, identity, being real with yourself. Um, you know what I mean? And just feeling overall refreshed. It's going to be a refresher that comes through here. So focus on this so that you can embody that king of wands energy. Okay. So um, I did initials and the ones that came out were Q and K. We had H and A, V and R, and this could be yours or this person's first, middle, a last, a city, a state. We have I and C. Um, all right, Capricorn, I'm going to leave it there, you guys. I'm sorry that the video cut off and you couldn't see the authenticity of the shuffle, but um, I felt the messages were important and I wanted to keep them the same, you guys. Take care.